Hi everybody, uh, my name is Tristan and this is going to be a video on how I installed uh, OS on Linux. So this is Linux um, and this is OS and just to set the record straight I'm using an Arch based Linux uh, distro and Devour OS with an AMD GPU and an XFCE desktop environment. While the distro and the GPU don't matter too much, there are things that I did that I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, they're unique to XFCE, the desktop environment, that may differ um, from other desktop environments such as GNOME and KDE. And if that's the case, there are things that you probably should look up on your own but this is the exact replica for anyone that's using an Arch-based distro with an AMD GPU and an XFCE desktop environment. I think if you follow these steps, you are 90% okay. Um, even then, um, those who don't have the exact stuff uh, are probably gonna do just fine just uh, by listening to instructions or reading through the instructions. Um, I'll try to be as inclusive as possible, so yeah. Um, to start, this is the uh, Reddit forum or Reddit post that uh, I found on installing OS with low latency. And even though this is uh, two years ago in 2021, um, it works perfectly fine uh, in, in 2023, so yeah. So this is the forum post that it directs you to, uh, made by Marshmallow. And so from here, you would just jump into the prereqs and uh, be thorough. Try to install as much as you or try to install whatever you can here. Um, check if your GPU drivers are installed if you haven't already. Uh, I've already had them installed, but in case you don't know how to install it. Uh, first, find what category your distro is in. So for most of you guys who use Ubuntu, Mint, Elementary, you're probably going to be under this category in which you choose which GPU that you're using and then copy this. Say I'm using an NVIDIA uh, GPU on Ubuntu. You copy this whole line um, that's under this NVIDIA tab and then you go into your terminal, which you can either do by control alt T or go into your application menu and then uh, putting in or typing in terminal there. And then you can either paste, uh, right click and paste here, the command or control shift V, which is the hotkey to paste on the terminal. So then you go through the installation, you install it, and then you would reboot your system um, after you're done. So yeah, uh, again, just choose whichever your category your distro is in and choose the GPU and just follow the steps from there. So that's your GPU drivers and then you rinse and repeat for Pipewire and Git. Um, find your, click on the drop, drop down for Pipewire, find your distro and then go through this line by line. So when you go install, for those of you who are new to using a terminal, uh, for when you install um, or go through line by line, you wait until each of the uh, processes are finished and then go to the next line. Wait until that's finished, go to the next line and then keep going on and do that. Um, and then you reboot. So that's Pulse Audio or Pipewire, my fault. Um, and for those of you who don't know what Pipewire is, I don't know exactly what it is. I just know it's an audio driver that is more improved, new and improved compared to Pulse Audio. And uh, yeah, uh, that's that's as far as I know. Uh, and Git. Git is the last one, which is the easiest because it's, it's, it's similar to installing a regular um, application on Linux. Uh, so yeah, so once you have all three of these completes, you should have the OS installation ready. Um, just copy this line by line, just that in this script, it's going to ask you, uh, where, uh, for a directory to store OS and all the files associated with it. Uh, and then it asks if you 
want to add it to your application menu, which I suggest because the other option is this thing right here where you have to go into your terminal and type in osu-wine whenever you want to um, run a, run osu, uh, which is a little bit of an inconvenience. You can just simply go to your application menu if you use it and then just type os and it's there for you. Um, and yeah, you'll be done. So that's all the terminal work that you have to do for the OS installation itself. Uh, what I would recommend, or actually no, I wouldn't recommend, I would require you <laughs> uh, to do this section as well, or else you're going to be uh, getting a lot of input lag where you go to your options in the OS client itself, go to universal offset, and then reduce this to negative 35 MS. So yeah, so that's all the, the things that you need or are required to do to install OS. Uh, so the rest of this is based on if you are using um, a mouse, because I'm a mouse user on uh, OS Linux, and then I'm going to be discussing the things specifically that I did for my desktop environment. So. Unfortunately, if you're a mouse user, I will not lie and say I do feel a difference whenever I use um, mouse on OS Linux compared to Windows. So uh, you your mileage may vary. Maybe it's the same for you. But for me, I do feel um, a slight difference. So one of the things that I would recommend, I know it's common to do on um, in Windows but I would disable raw inputs. Now, raw input, the purpose of raw input is over here, uh, bypass Windows acceleration. However, clearly we're not using Windows, we're using Linux, so raw input is left off. Now, this is an issue for people who recently installed Linux. You're either going to have mouse acceleration by default or, your sp or the speed of your mouse is doubled, uh, or both. And if that's the case, I would refer to this arch wiki um, right here, where you can go down to the um, this section right here to disable mouse acceleration, and go to the section where uh, you disable it with lib input. So you're gonna take this little directory thing, copy it, and then in a the terminal do sudo nano, and then control shift v. And what this will do. Uh, is it will take you to a text box or yeah um, where you can copy this whole thing right below the directory and then control shift paste this um, into the text box right there so then after you're done you save by oh, I save by pressing Control X and then it will ask you to save and then you press yes and then it will also exit. So then after you're done, restart and your mouse should be uh, very similar to how it feels when you're on Windows. Uh, another thing that I suggest is getting drivers for your mouse if it's compatible for Razer products. You could use the Open Razer um, software which is a uh, Linux based, uh, what you call it? Yeah, Linux based uh, drivers for Razer, uh, I believe. Is it open source for everybody? I don't know if it is, but yeah. Um, and then if you also have a compatible mouse under, um, uh, I would suggest using Piper. So if you don't know if your mouse is compatible, uh, go to the supported devices section of this link that I'll provide in the description. I'll, prov I'll provide every link in the description. And then click on this hyperlink and then go through this list to see if your mouse is within this um what you call it section uh and if it is then i would suggest installing piper because that would allow you to adjust your polling rate uh your resolutions your dpi uh buttons you can map them to uh, other keys and then lighting i believe you can change the lighting i'm not too sure but yeah so that's all there is for the mouse section. Uh, a few things that I would do for XFCE, I think there's only one really, and uh, it's to disable compositor um, for when you play games. So you could either do that through game mode. 
I don't know. I don't really trust game mode too much. I like manually disabling it myself. Uh, but I would recommend just having your compositor to disabled overall, either through game mode or manually. I'll show you it manually, just so you can have less input lag, and you could also play on windowed mode, which is a, a nice flex because after Windows 7, uh, you would not be able to play uh, on windowed mode unless you're willing to suffer from the input lag um, on Windows. So to for the compositor, go to Window Manager Tweaks on XFCE, and then go to Compositor, and you can disable it from here. Or another suggestion that I would make is to, I have this in the description as well, set a key bind to disable um, or to toggle uh, your compositor, uh, what you call it, whenever you need to. Yeah, so I just, I set the key bind to my right control. You can set it to whatever, but I use right control. And then you should be good for the, for everything else. So this is uh, essentially all the things that I did to make OS work for my system. And just to show you that it works, I'll try my best to play one of the songs available here. Oh wait, hold up. So I think I do, yeah, my compositor is still. It does work, I just don't know. Yeah, there you go. So if you don't know, um, how or if you can't tell if your compositor is on or off um, you can usually get a feel for it so you, you could definitely feel the difference in input lag when you have it off compared to when you have it on so on that note here So yeah, uh, I failed, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, the point is, it works perfectly fine. Um, really, this is all those misses and 100s aren't really the input lag. It's just skill issue. Uh, actually, yeah, it is, obviously. No, I'm kidding. Uh, but yeah, I think that's it. Uh, that's basically all I really wanted to show. And thank you for watching. I am out.